Until noon, you're listening to Neil Mitchell. It's 14 to 9. The Premier is today launching a gambling advertisement that it's, it's, it includes messages from uh, real people, real people with real gambling problems, including Daniel Ward, the Melbourne footballer, the other people are perhaps more anonymous, members of the community. Um, this is how it sounds. Hi, my name's Anna, and this is day one of my 100-day gambling diary. It's going to be an interesting journey. It's going to be tough. I'm only one gamble away from being down the same path. There's a lot of apprehension and anxiety about today, I think. I'm pretty anxious, pretty nervous. I guess that's only natural. I'm not happy with where it's going. Lying, keeping secrets. Who is the real me? I don't even know. The real me can come back and will come back. This is only the beginning. This is only day one. But it's day one in the right direction. Can't wait for the future. 100 days. Bring it on. Authorised by the Victorian Responsible Gambling Foundation, Melbourne. Premier, what's the idea? Well, that's a very powerful and emotive advertisement, I think you'd agree. And it's about real people who have a gambling problem saying, fight for the real you. And it's saying that we do have people in our society with a gambling problem and every fight against problem gambling starts with day one, the first step. And it's really important that you do know that it's going to be a tough fight but it's a fight worth having because problem gambling is devastating for individuals and their families. And what we need to do is um, say there are other people who have got the same issue, uh, they're real people, and they're working really hard to deal with their problem gambling problem, and you can do it as well if you've got a gambling problem. Would you like to see fewer pokies? Uh, I think that we, we've had a history of gambling ever since the diggers played two up in the trenches and we bet on Farlap in the Melbourne Cup. We've got a culture and history of gambling. It's an important employer and industry, but we do have to recognise that we do have problem gamblers in our community. A percentage of people uh, have real difficulty with gambling and what we've got to do is have systems in place to assist them, to help them and to encourage them to uh, take those first steps and those longer steps in dealing with their gambling problem. Do you have a, you have a bet yourself? I do have a bet, on um, horses, I mainly, mainly on the, the races, the horses and the greyhounds. Are just, you know, I have a five, a, five or ten dollar bet. Uh, when I, but I, on the dish I, I must say that I have some sort of mental rules I have. I, I only ever bet when I'm at the track myself. Uh, and uh, I don't um, I don't have an account with any betting agency, so that uh, that's just little rules well, do I have. Do you not trust yourself? Oh well, I think it's just a, a thing that I discipline myself. That uh, that uh, if you're at the track, you can have a bet. It's part of the fun of being at the track. But I, I don't want to get involved in betting every day or every week. And if uh, I had an account, I might be tempted to so look what, at the fields and have a bet. What's a big bet for you? A big bet for me, uh, I might have might struggle. I have twenty five dollars each way if I really think, and that'd be once in a blue moon. Most of my bets are five and ten dollars. Why would you bet on the dogs? Well, because as Minister for Racing, I'm occasionally at the Greyhound races, and uh, and it's a, a bit of a challenge to try and back the pink dog. <laughs> pink dog. Okay. Uh, now, how are you going with?